My name is Humaira Malik. I am CEO and co-founder of Canvas Analytics. We are an industrial analytics company. This industry is not doing much with their data that they generate on a day-to-day -day basis. They've been collecting data for diagnostics purposes. When you look at any operations, you're always looking at the data to understand what happened, but it's always what happened after not what's going to happen. So we're going in and helping them understand there is an ability for you to control your production line, control this process, control your assets, control how much energy you're utilizing. Use the data and you would actually get more useful information well in time to be able to make decisions rather than use it the way you've been using it, which is just for diagnostic purposes. In the food and ag industry, two of their largest costs are raw materials and energy. They're using turbines for generation of power and steam. Usually, you actually have set parameters and you know that I'm always going to run these turbines at 100% level. No matter what is my demand, I just don't understand, so I'm always going to run them at a certain level. We actually implemented the, the models, the platform that read the demand of the plant on a regular basis and understands on an ongoing basis what the demand of the plant is. And then it actually predicts and says, run this at 70%, run the second turbine at X percent and run the third asset at Y percent so that you don't always have to run them at the same level and consume this the higher level of fuel for actually running these assets. The models actually understand the demand, predict how to run these turbines, and not just that, actually the function is for the carrying back through these models um, by a fully closed loop system so that you don't have to have a human who have to go in and turn on, turn off knobs all the time because it's continuously running. So that's why it's a fully closed loop process. So we understand the demand, predict how to run these turbines and control as well in terms of the changes that need to be made at the control systems level.